Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can mitigate running out of disk space on your Ubuntu running on a VM, right? Let me show you how the problem comes about. I'm going to go to a, a text editor uh, and maybe create a text file called test123.txt and essentially what it does is that it opens a text editor and I'm going to just say hello world and I'm gonna press, once that's done, I'm gonna press Control X to exit and do you want to save the buffer? Say yes and hit enter. Now you can see that the error message comes out saying no space left on your device. So basically there's no more uh, hard drive space on your Ubuntu. That's what it means. Let me show you how much space I have on this virtual machine. I'm gonna press Control X again and this time I'm gonna say no and you know, just check how much space you have in your file system. The command is df minus h. This shows you a complete file system on your Ubuntu, what you have. The location that we're looking at, where I'm trying to save, is your home directory. And you can see on my home directory, I used to have 10 gigabyte, I've used up. I used to have 9.8 gigabyte, and I've used up 9.8 gigabytes, and there's none available, right? You can see 100% use. Right. Um, just to validate, make sure that this is the right file system that your home is looking at. The way you look will be uh, to be df minus h and home directory, right? Hit enter. It will point back to the same location. So this validates that this file system is the correct location that you're looking at. So now you don't have any space. So what do you do, right? So let's get started on how we can mitigate this. So first and foremost of all, of course, you're going to have to make sure that your VM has enough space. You go to Player, Manage, Virtual Machine Settings, and then uh, you go to Hardware Options and change this to expand this to whatever bigger size that you have, right? Uh, of course, these things are grayed out because your virtual machine is running. So in order to change this size, your virtual machine has to be stopped. So I've already done that. I've got 40 gigabyte, okay? Uh, and I know I do have enough space now. So uh, first of all, uh, let's uh, check what kind of file system we have and what kind of uh, mounting we have, right? So uh, you're gonna have to log in yourself as a super user by using the sudo space su. Once you can do the su uh, sudo user, super user, you might be prompted to password enter your password if they prompt you a password. The next command that you're going to have to do is CF disk, like that. So this will show you what uh, kind of uh, file systems or disk mounting you have. So hit enter. As you can see, I've got uh, three different types, right? So the first few, first two are system. You don't really look at it. And this is the section where uh, most of us, our files are residing, right? So, and this is how much I have. I, I showed you I had 40 there is because I was trying to make those changes uh, when I was trying to test the system here. But anyway, this reflects whatever the VM uh, was originally allocated for, right? So once that's done, okay, so you're going to have to have a look at your system file system here. So this is a Linux file system. And you can see this is a LVM2 member, right? You can't really... Uh, resize it. You can't just do and resize this guy here. It will not work for the steps I'm about to show, right? Uh, it will show the size increase, but you cannot uh, partition that particular or access that partition for some reasons, right? So uh, for this system here, an Ubuntu 20.04, since it's the file system for home is LVM, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna take have to take the free space and create a brand new partition itself by selecting new here new here hit enter and i'm going to allocate about 10 gigabyte in here so when i hit enter here so what it does is that it creates a new sda4 under dev and 10. what i'm going to do next is to write it and then when they prompt you are you sure you want to write the partition table to the desk say yes and hit enter so basically now you have created this the ubuntu is not very sh uh, it's not aware that your sda4 is in existence right now but there's one more configuration you're gonna have to do go to type and you're gonna have to uh, change this to LVM right it's a logic volume manager so LVM um, partition will allow you to actually link two different partition together uh, so that you can work with it right so you can select LVM 
Linux LVM and I'm gonna hit write again and this time around say yes over here and now your system is complete and ready right so uh, next thing you want to do would be to restart your system because if you were to uh, look at your file system uh, the SDA4 volume is not recognized right by the system so you're gonna have to uh, restart your system so I'm gonna go ahead and issue a reboot command and the reboot command would be shutdown now minus R so basically you can see my VM is actually shutting off and my SSH connection to the Ubuntu will uh, shut off here shortly as well okay I could just got disconnected I'm gonna log myself back in again okay now we're back now so the next step would be to create the physical volume uh, from the new uh, mounted drive so the way to do it would be ph physical volume create slash dev slash sda which is four right uh, we can if you don't know what number you had go to cf this again but first of all of course you're gonna have to log in as a sudo user then type cf this which is the previous command so this is the uh, volume or the device that we're gonna uh, create the physical volume with right so I'm gonna quit again so now here what you're gonna type is uh, P physical volume create PV create followed by dev slash SDA4 that's your new device hit enter you should get physical volume created successfully right so at this point uh, what you need to do is you type VGS uh, volume group display you can see that uh, this is what you have right now right at the moment and this is your volume group name you gotta take note of it so another way a detailed way to look at it will be go VG display this will show you a complete uh, volume group that you're working with today so again the name is here right right now the size is only 18.5 gigabyte like what you saw in the CF disk Okay, the next thing you want to do is to extend this group with the additional 10 gigabyte that we have. Okay, the command for that would be uh, volume group, as in VG. Let me click it here. VG uh, extend one word, and then uh, the name it was uh, Ubuntu. Let me pull that VG again. VGS. This is the name, right? So VG extend followed by the name and then uh, the device name was device slash SDA4 right which you saw on CF this just now hit enter you can see that uh, basically they're trying to create a directory but given the fact that you don't have, have do not have enough space uh, you cannot create the directory right so at this point you're gonna have to delete something from your uh, from your system here so I'm gonna delete uh, a single file maybe call um, remove a directory called CI this one here which is about one gigabyte I guess so if we go DF H now you have slightly more I'm sorry you got about one gigabyte here but then again this is not the final resolution right not quite yet so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clear the screen again and extend the existing volume group with the new 10 gigabyte from SDA4 hit enter you can see the volume is successfully extended right now if you look at the uh, VG display you'll see that uh, now you got additional 10 gigabyte in there it was previously 18 and a half gigabyte right so now the volume group has been extended now you're gonna have to extend the uh, the drive itself now right so the command to extend the drive or the partition itself will be LV extend minus L and then uh, if you want to do a full 100% uh, extension will be this is the flag you're gonna have to use right and the device itself uh, and the device itself uh, if you don't know what the device itself again you go to DF minus H yeah this is the device file system that you're gonna have to copy over Right. Let me show you one example, uh, quite uh, demo here. So LV. Let's say if you want, if you don't want complete 100% extension of the drive, 
you're going to have to use LV extend and then let's say minus L and let's say if you only want to give 2 gigabyte uh, this is how this is how you use the flag right and followed by the file system itself like that that is only allowing 2 gigabyte but if you want a full 100% everything from that new uh, uh, 10 gigabyte that you have the command that you use is dash small l plus 100 percent free just like that followed by the file system that you're increasing which is your home directory itself so hit enter you can see uh, you should get logic volume ubuntu resize successful so now if you were to go df minus h now you'll see that the file system is still not extended quite yet so it's not finished yet right so uh, there's one more command that you're gonna have to do the, is to uh, resize your file system so it's resize uh, 2fs that's the uh, command followed by your the uh, what do you call that the file system name itself which was dev mapper ubuntu all this hit enter Okay, you can see that uh, now they say that it's been increased so now if you type df minus h you can see that it's gone to 28 gigabyte now 8 gigabyte use and you got 19 gigabyte available so that's how you do a complete upgrade or revamping or resizing of your ubuntu disk space if this tutorial was helpful please like and subscribe other than that you have a good day bye now